The purpose of the Rise channel is to show you um, that there is an enemy, there is a devil in this world. Uh, the Bible is indeed true. The Bible covers all the things that matter, all the things you need to know about the problem this world is in, which is that it's under the sway of the wicked one, um, that the humanity fell into sin. And, and that is why we ended up in this predicament where we've been we're, we've been born into this sinful world where bad things happen and people really do engage in these things. And the influence of this darkness permeates, especially in the day and age we live in now, permeates the media and permeates our culture and society as it turns more towards this paganism, this antichrist system. And that's what we expose and show that these things really go on and they really exist. Therefore, we know that Jesus Christ also exists because the Bible is clearly true and there is a saviour from this darkness and the darkness within our own hearts. So I just want to say finally, as I've said in a few recent videos, it's clear the goal of rebellious mankind, led by the, the powers of darkness, is to counterfeit Jesus Christ and to counterfeit salvation. They want to try and, and achieve everlasting life, eternal life, without forgiveness of sin. They, they want to create this counterfeit of the gospel, this anti-gospel, in the sense that people think that they can be free from their disease, all their diseases, they can be free from all their pains, they can be free from the very worst enemy of mankind, which is death, that came in through the fall in the Garden of Eden, when Adam and Eve took the, the fruit, the forbidden fruit, um, this promise, the lure of being like gods, and uh, to acquire secret knowledge, to be like gods, and to, um, to rise up in defiance of the one true God. That's what they're mi mirroring here, folks, that they're, they're trying to uh, achieve this very thing that we're warned about, the lie that took place in the Garden of Eden. You know, if that happened in the future, you say, you, you tell someone about the gospel of Jesus Christ, that you can be forgiven for your sins and, and you can inherit eternal life through him. They're, they might be like, well, why would I need that? I'm being promised a counterfeit eternal life. I'm being promised freedom from all my pain and diseases through transhuman means. Or I'm being promised freedom through the Antichrist by taking the mark of the beast and being sealed into the beast system and being sealed essentially uh, to hell for eternity, which is the consequence. So you see how we get into the stage now where the enemy is trying to counterfeit, directly counterfeit the gospel of Jesus Christ and the, the rewards and the promises and the hope that is given through the gospel of Jesus Christ. They're trying to mirror it and mimic it and counterfeit it to say, no, if you take this mark, you take the mark of the beast, you will have salvation, quote unquote, of sorts. But it is a false one, folks. If, you, if anyone takes the counterfeit gospel, the antichrist, the beast, if anyone goes down that line and believes the delusion and believes the lie that they can have these things without being forgiven of their sins by Jesus Christ on the cross, they will be sealed into an eternity in hell and torment forever. There is, it's a complete lie, folks. It does not lead to heaven, it leads to hell. And that's the ultimate plan, the great work, the great plan that is coming forth on this world is that they're trying to uh, mirror and copy uh, Jesus Christ and is like a, a false replacement of, which is what Antichrist means. It will only lead to damnation and separation from the love and grace of God forever. So the gospel still remains the same, is that if you turn to Jesus Christ today, if any of us come to him and repent, ask for forgiveness, that we are a sinner and that we've wronged God and rebelled against him, then he will restore us in a true way that brings true eternal life that shall last forever. Thank you.